Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Life is Strange. In the last episode, Max was heading to class. We have a little bit of time before then, so I do believe we're going to go find Warren in the science lab. Now then, uh, hello. Yeah, Luke, this guy, he didn't really want to talk to us before. Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. Fair, I mean, uh, I believe Max mentioned that he was being bullied. That reminds me, I have to score some weed from Nathan. I see Juliet has moved on. Oh, God, girl, girl, Dana was dating Logan. Don't go after your friend's sloppy seconds. Juliet! Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. I, I get it, she's only doing it to make Zach jealous, but like, still, have, have some taste. Also, you can do way better than this guy. He, uh, no. I really hope this jackass will use protection next time. He won't. He won't, because he's an idiot. Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. Mm. Well then, the science lab. Hello, people. Yeah, Warren's at the back. Okay, hello, Miss Grant. Miss Grant is so cool and smart. She defines the word teacher. Mm. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Thanks again for taking a stand against camera surveillance here. Every signature counts. Hmm. Yeah, how's the petition going? How's your campaign going? You signed the petition, now it's your campaign too. Thanks for stepping up. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. I know. I really hope you keep those cameras from taking over Blackwell. Max, with students like you, we sure will. And photos? I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. Uh... Of course Max is going to take this opportunity to learn more about her favorite teacher. You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. I've been here a little longer, but he's made a bigger mark. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. Hmm. Yeah, what, do, what do you think about the snow, though? What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Hmm. I, I like Miss Grant. She, she does seem like a good teacher. She seems to care about her students, which is a good sign, I think. Da Vinci was a boss. Science is art, and art is science. Also, I quite agree with her. Autumn is my favorite season, too. I, l I love seeing the colors change. I bet if I touch the glass, all these creepy sea critters will pop up. Do it. Or nothing will happen at all. Think, big brain, think. Okay, okay, Warren. Oh, I, I like aquariums. I'm very fond of fish. And Brooke, hello. Brooke always kind of pretends like I'm almost not there. Why? It's because she's got a crush on Warren and he has a crush on you. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? Uh, yeah, well, how's your drone doing? How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. Okay, I'll get to you in a minute, in a minute Warren. Ooh, hello. Wonder why they don't use real skeletons. I mean, 
who who is gonna leave their skeleton like and in my will i want my skeleton to go to this high school so i can scare the shit out of some students like what bring me the brain igor hmm. there's mr wizard hard at work hey warren are you okay you look thoughtful yet confused maxwell silver hammer perfect timing I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Hmm. Let's go with potassium. You find that in bananas. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Weird that... science. Okay. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide. Dr. Max? Do it. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. I, I feel like I should step back. Woo! She blinded me with science. Here's the thing, I'm pretty sure. Yes, this is one of the two remaining photos. Okay, so clearly, clearly we have to get something to happen. Hey, Warren. Okay, we can, we can skip. Ask asking me. I have to add either. So, sodium. I have a vision. Go diem. Go diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Hmm. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Nada. Okay. I give up. Hmm. Um. I. Maybe we ask the teacher? I mean, she'd know what he was up to. Hi again, Miss Grant. Right back at you, Max. Yeah. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but... I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. There we go. Okay. And then, Warren, I come bringing good news. Back and then back again. Hey, Warren. Max, you fit. I have that. Yep, yep. Chlorine. Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine. Not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Okay. Ah! Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. Oh, you guys really broke the bounds of science. Brooke, don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. That was fun helping Warren. He's pretty cute when he's in full-on geek mode. Oh shit, is... Is this the start of Max developing a crush on Warren? Okay. Yeah, there it is. Hey, nice. Lovely jubbly. I was... I was gonna say, Warren... I 
like Warren. I think he's quite sweet, but at the same time, he's also... He's also a little bit creepy and obsessive. Like how he, how he was hanging out in front of Max's dorm in the morning waiting for waiting for her to come out kind of creepy however i think here's the thing considering he's a teenage boy i th i think he's very well written if you get what i'm saying he is straddling that fine line between you know a uh, hormone riddled adolescent and you know a kind of cute fun friend character i I like Warren. There, there are times when I'm kind of like, "Ooh, no, don't, don't say that." Max is, Max is clearly putting down that she's not really interested in you, and you're pushing maybe a little bit too hard. But it, again, kind of because of his youth, I'm slightly more inclined to give him a pass. If he were a thirty-year-old man, I'd be like, "No." No, this shit ain't appropriate. But at his current age, I'm like, it's something he'll probably grow out of. He's all right. I'm good with you, Warren. I wish I could bring a mini Warren with me to my science exams. Front to the future. Blackwell Academy believes the next generation of visionaries should know both art and science to advance their talent and education. Our faculty and curriculum is one of the most diverse in the world. Your future starts here. Okay, now we have our locker. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. Anything new? Okay, no. Got it, got it. I love how Evan is so above the Vortex Club and everything else. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? Okay, and again, I think I think you've undergone a, a voice change. You have to talk to me, Kate. So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. I was tr oh, I was trying to get close enough to hear the full conversation because if if I remember correctly, it's basically what I remember happening is Kate's trying to open up to Mr. Jefferson about this video, and he's like, "Why are you so upset? Me think she doth protest too much," which is such a shitty thing to say if you're. If you're not aware of, you know, what that what that saying means or where it comes from, it's um it's Shakespeare, it's from Hamlet. Basically, Hamlet puts on a play about a king dying and the queen is so distraught that she could never possibly take another lover and like, oh my god, this is terrible. And he puts it on for his mother, who is the queen, and his uncle, who is now the king. And basically, when it gets to that part, he turns, hoping he'll see his uncle have a kind of like, oh shit, he knows I murdered his dad kind of look. And instead, um, he finds his uncle basically saying, oh, what do you think about her behavior, my love? And Hamlet's mother says, me think she doth protest too much. Basically saying that like, oh, this woman is clearly cheating. That's why she's having such a hissy fit. She's being melodramatic to cover up the fact that she's done something wrong. So what Mr. Jefferson is saying, like, when he says, me think she doth protest too much, he's saying she actually enjoyed that. And that's why she's complaining, because she doesn't want everyone to know that she liked it. Mm -hmm. Very shitty thing to say. On, on one hand, I'm sad that we didn't get to hear it, but on the other, again... Max didn't hear him say anything wrong. Max didn't hear him say anything shitty to Kate. So, again, why would she? Why would she ever doubt Mr. Jefferson? She hasn't heard him say anything dodgy. I wish you and Chloe had run away earlier. And this, this. One, let me, let me look at this one. Ah, no, game, game. How dare! I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. I still think this is an amazing advert for a blood bank or a blood drive. I'm like, that's, that's 
amazing. That is an amazing post. No, hello. Hello, you. I bet Mr. Jefferson has had to deal with a lot of troubled students. I, again, Max didn't hear him say anything dodgy. So she, oh, he must have a lot on his plate. He'd never do anything bad, my dear Mr. Jefferson. Ah, <sighs> Max. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me, I'm worried about Kate Marsh. You're not the only one. Do you have something you want to tell me? Yeah, I, I, like I said before, I think Max is gunning for David a little bit. She's telling people that, like, I, I saw him hassling her. I get. I guess this is kind of like a, in a way, putting down a paper trail. If Max wanted to make an official complaint to the principal, then she'd be able to say, oh, well, I told all of these people ahead of time. They'll back me up that I told them what I saw. I saw David Madsen harassing Kate yesterday. He was scaring her. Mr. Madsen confuses fear with security. I I'm sorry. Kate had to be a target of his paranoia. If you had proof, I could talk to Principal Wells. Oh yes, I have an actual photograph for once. Let me see that photo after class. You're already thinking like a real photographer. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Mm, yeah, Kate... <sighs> Kate is really freaked out by all of this. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Oh, sir. <laughs> sir. <laughs> I think that would shock Max. That right there. Oh, thank you for saying something, you bitch. Thank you. <clears throat> I... That would definitely shock her. She'd be like, oh shit, what? What do you mean you think she doth protest too much? What do you mean she brought this on herself? Um, I, Max has no reason to lie to this guy. She's very shocked by what he just said. So, uh, but yeah, we have no reason to lie to him. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. And Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. You care to share? Oh, God. I think she would. She's got a massive crush on this guy. She trusts him. Yes, he just said something that shocked her. But I don't... I don't think... I think this is like the start of Max being like, wait, why would he say that? Like... Like I said, I am role-playing Max here. I think... I think she still trusts Mr. Jefferson... So she's gonna tell him what she saw, but I think that this is this is like the uh, the seed that gets planted in her brain of like why would he say that? Like this is gonna prey on her mind, you know? Like why would he say me think she doth protest too much? Why would he say that she brought this on herself? Oh, that's that's kind of weird. I saw Nathan with a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. I was too scared to go to Principal Wells. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Um, uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Yes. 
What did I say? I'm, I'm just going to pause because I don't know how much of this is timed. What did I say? Mr. Madsen is going around telling the faculty that Max is a pot dealer. I t Fabulous. Fabulous. Uh -huh. Hello? Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. She really is. Dana, you are out of control. It's hard to not like Hayden because he just doesn't give a shit. I wanna... How do I look, Taylor? Again, I, I think this is time, so... Yes! Nice, there we go. 10 out of 10 once again. And before I forget, yes, we read this one. Just when I thought shit couldn't get crazier, Chloe took me to her secret lair, the city dump. Perfect for Halloween. Like where the vehicle and appliance ghosts of Arcadia Bay come to rot and rest. Urban dystopia porn. But instead of taking cool, cool photos, Chloe had me do some silly, kind of fun gun tricks. Until the guy Chloe owes money to showed up. Some skeevy guy called Frank. He demanded Chloe pay him back, or else. I was shocked that he wasn't the loan shark I had expected, but I could literally feel his bad vibe. I still can't see how my best friend ended up involved with a loser like Frank. And I almost shot him. He pulled a knife on us and it felt like another one of my dreams. I don't even remember aiming the gun at him, but my finger just tapped against the trigger. Thank God there were no bullets left. I could have used my rewind, but the way my head was throbbing, who knows? I can't assume my power will always be available. I don't know anything about how this works or how long, so I can't take anything for granted. I just know I'm never holding another gun. And after all the drama-rama volume 33, Chloe and I ended up taking a walk along the tracks deep in the woods. We both needed to hear nothing but the sounds of nature and wildlife. I was shaking inside from our encounter with Frank, and though Chloe fronts tough, I could tell she was shaken too. She told me everything about Frank, which explains why she was trying to black blackmail Nathan. It shocks me that the girl I grew up with watching Spongebob ended up in such a scary orbit. Still, I felt safer with her at my side, and I was glad we had a moment of peace. Bless me, remember to cut that out. So it probably wasn't the best idea to lay down on the tracks and wax about life, etc as Chloe's leg got caught in the rail just as the goddamn train showed up. Of course, I was off trying to take a photo for my portfolio, and then I had another quick flash of my tornado vision. I could see it, almost feel it, tearing the sky apart. My head felt like it was exploding, like in the 80s film Scanners. Just as fast as the vision, as the vision came in, it disappeared. I may be in denial about what this apocalyptic image means, or doesn't. Then I heard Chloe screaming for help, and I was shit in kittens. Her foot was stuck in the damn rail, and naturally the train was coming round the mountain. I was pretty proud of myself for coming up with a drastic, if not destructive, solution to saving Chloe once again. But just in case this journal ever falls into the wrong hands, it's going to remain our BFF secret. So there. Our morning adventure over, Chloe dropped me off back at my campus. She was so sweet and said this had been the best week of her life, despite everything. That made me feel so awesome. Chloe really sees us like we're taking over the world. But what if I hadn't been able to use my rewind power to get her off the tracks? Chloe might have to lower her expectations, and so will I. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. I okay. But Daniel? Daniel is always on the outside looking in. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. I hope you liked the sketch I did of you yesterday. Oh, absolutely loved it. It was amazing. Love. 
And it's my new avatar. Excellent. I got tons of likes on FB. Ah, made you blush. Shut up. Someday oh. your portrait may hang in the Daniel de Costa wing of the Louvre. We'll talk about it later. I like Daniel. Daniel seems sweet. That's a great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. Hmm. What does that say? Dana... Dana O.O. posing. Okay. And the frog. Yeah, I, I like Daniel. Daniel seems like a cool dude. I hate him. I'm kind of doing something now, Max. Okay, fair dues. Pardon me. Sorry, coming through. Dana is ready for her 15 minutes of fame. Just edit me out, it's fine. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a shit. Like anybody does. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. I am gonna speak to other people first. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. I like Taylor's artistic side, not her personality. No time to talk, Max. Art in progress. Okay, fair dues. Now then, you two assholes. I should have told the principal about Nathan and the gun just for life insurance. Even if Victoria ignores me, I'm glad we talked yesterday. I'd, I'd rather start the conversation off with Victoria, because she scares me less. Here comes the mysterious Max, disguised as a pixie hipster. Like all the other precious twee artists here, you really nailed me. Meow! Bring out the claws! I love seeing chicks fight. Right. Can I sit at my table now? Max thought we were going to be buds. Fucking ha ha. <laughs> Hi, dickhead. Assholes. Jesus Christ. These hoes. Oh, Kate. Okay, why is David Dude. taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. It really is. It really is. God damn. David, this kind of creepiness is... It just... No. Just no. Okay, you know what? I'm not entirely sure how much of this episode is left, so I'm gonna leave off right here just in case there is still, like, another 30 minutes to go. So, uh, in the next episode, I presume we'll be getting started with, uh, Mr. Jefferson's class. But until then... Please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista, thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.